Previously on Sailing Catalpa, we do our first dive in Tomia, meet our friend Ita, taste some local cuisine and visit a fishing village built on the water on the island Tolendona, very close to Tomia. <laughs> Do you reckon Taj? Have a chew of that? We were pretty curious about these squid boats as we'd seen them before in our travels. Yeah. Show me, show me. Yeah. Is that what this is? Yeah. yeah. Squid? Squid? Yeah. yeah. You don't know? <laughs> how, how, how many? How many? How many fishermen huh? on boat? Uh -huh. When oh, they go fishing. Brapa, brapa orang yang di dalam. The six fishermen aboard when fishing go out for a few days catching chumi, which is squid, and small fish. I love the colours and simplicity of these houses, plus they're built on the water. I'm a big fan of this place. It was nice to see there wasn't too much rubbish in or out of the water here, and we could see they were pretty good at recycling. Check out these plastic plants. Very creative. Um, tree, tree? tree? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Or bamboo. Or bamboo, yeah. Lee thought it was time to fly the drone and this brought kids from everywhere. Everyone loves a drone and we're guessing they don't see them here very often and they were all very excited to see it in action. Everywhere you look, there's kids flipping and jumping off the jetty into some pretty shallow water too. But hey, these kids had skills.
pretty sure they liked the camera too. Every time I pulled it out, there was some pretty impressive moves. But this guy, his moves were my favorite. Oh, dinner? Uh-huh. But um, traditional uh, what uh, 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 The people and this place were beautiful and we really enjoyed our visit here. After the village, we took Ita back to Catalpa to show her our home. We weren't leaving yet, but as you can see, Ita liked having us around. Um, I hope sometime you come back to Tomia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we were so grateful for meeting this beautiful and kind woman, who forever will be a dear friend. So we had a really awesome morning this morning. We went to um, a village, uh, Labuan. I think you say it, <laughs> Labuan. And um, our friend Ita came with us and she was able to kind of communicate for us and we went and spent some time in the village and went through and had a look at the houses and the people and it was really awesome. But this morning before we left, or last night, yesterday, we were making water and the generator decided to fully cark it. We've been nursing it for a while and um, we made water and at the end of making water we have to flush out our system and the generator died before we got to so we really need the generator right to run at least for another five minutes just to flush out so we don't wreck our water maker. Um, so at least pulling it all apart, see if... How many times you pulled this thing apart? I don't know. I have a strange suspicion it's this coil. It's uh, sparks, we get a spark and then we don't get a spark, we get fuel and we don't get fuel, we, it runs and it doesn't run, and then it's very intermittent, the fault, so I don't know what it is, but I'm going to clean the carby and strip that right down again, which I've already done, I think it's fine, but I'm going to just double check everything, clean all the fuel lines out, I'm going to blow everything out, I'm just going to, I don't know, I'm not a mechanic, but I'll just... You're pretty good. Have a little go. Um, yeah, so we asked Ita, our friend, her father actually um, is a mechanic um, and he fixes generators and boats and things like that but he's not here at the moment <laughs> and there's no one else uh, on the island that can so if we can't get this going we're going to have to sail straight to Wangi Wangi. <clears throat> and there's so much diving to and do. There's so much to see in between so we're hoping that Lee can just get this going. Fingers crossed. Fingers, toes, legs, head. Everything. <laughs> so Lee put back the generator all together. And um, he pulled it all apart. Couldn't really find out a problem to fix, but I pulled it apart, cleaned it, fixed it as much as he could. And uh, then we went for a dive because it was all apart and it was just over it. So we were like, let's go for a scuba dive. The ocean for us is the best. No matter what's happened or what's happening, as soon as you jump in the ocean, it all doesn't matter anymore. 
It's a magical escape of reality and I'm addicted to the ocean for life. dive and they came back. Luckily remembered how to put it back all together. I'm just gonna put some fr fresh fuel in it and then um, try again. So I mean we need a new generator and we'll get one as soon as we can but uh, right now it's just really important that we get some fresh water through our water maker because we don't that want that to be wrecked. So hoping even if it just goes for 10 minutes it'd be sweet. Fingers crossed. I think from the last time we filmed, um, Lee was trying to fix that generator. That was a day ago. And he was up most of the night, had the thing apart completely. Lee's fixed it a hundred times and it always goes. Our generator stopped while we were making water, which, um, which means we weren't able to run fresh water back through our water maker, which you need to do after you make water. Um, it's really important and it, that was two, three days ago. So, um, for, yeah, for the last three days Lee's been trying to get it going because we just needed the generator to run for another five minutes, literally. It was, we just need to run water through our water maker and um, that would have been fine. So, it didn't. And we can't get it going again. We are in Wakatobi, uh, um, Palau Tomia Island which is in the middle of nowhere and the closest city which has um, generators is at Bao Bao which is a hundred nautical miles uh, which we could go but there's currents and wind against us to get there so that was our next option we were going to leave today to go to Bao Bao but the winds picked up and it's we would be punching straight into the wind to get there um, the other option was to fly somewhere, but the airport here is only, well, there's only private jets used for the resort, which would cost over $1,000 for Lee to fly somewhere to get a generator. So, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle. The other option is we kind of gun it to Ambon, which is about 300 nautical miles away. Is that right? Two, two people. So yeah, we've got a friend, we've met a, a really lovely um, girl over on the island, Aita, who's been taking us around and showing things and, and feeding us in her home and, and being really lovely. Um, sh her dad's a mechanic but he's not here and she's helping us. Uh, this morning uh, we've asked if she could see if there was someone on the island that we could borrow the, uh, someone's generator just to run water through and clean out our water maker. Um, so fingers crossed, we haven't heard from her. She said she'll make a phone call and get back to us. So that's where we're at. So we're pretty good at um, creating drama, I guess. Like we couldn't have picked a more remote spot to be, to need a generator, and we couldn't have picked a worse time for it to stop. It's died a hundred times, but Lee always got it going again. Um, but this time he hasn't, and he's he's feeling defeated <laughs> he said that's it it's broken he can't get it going so the the little bit of hope that we all had that lee would just get it going because he fixes everything and always has we just didn't even worry about it we're like oh he'll get it going he'll get it going he'll get it going uh it hasn't happened this time so uh yeah we're just sitting and waiting um so we can do, but you know, these things happen and we just gotta trust that it'll all work out in the end. And we can look back and it'll be another one of those moments. 
that we can laugh about. We had one of someone wrote in and said that they love they love all the things that happen and that we that, um, that we always get through it and we always fix it. Uh, so I guess it's just another one of those moments we will come out the other side when uh, we will be a cool story to tell. So that's what we're doing. But less drama would be lovely <laughs> for us. <laughs> So we got some good news. There was a motorbike mechanic that thinks he could help us with our generator and also knew a guy that we could borrow a generator from. This is Jay and he came out to the boat. The generator was only 1500 kilowatt and we did ask for a 2000 kilowatt but the translation maybe didn't get through. So it was too small to run our water maker but while Jay was out on the boat he thought he'd have a look at our generator. The rocking on the boat was a little bit too much for Jay trying to fix the generator so he decided that he should take it back to his shop. We went back ashore, the kids jumped on the bike with Jay and Lee and I followed behind. I don't know, yeah. The, uh, the vacuum pump. <coughs> Fuel vacuum pump. Maybe water. Maybe run a bit of two stroke in there. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? A lot of pipe sucking going on here. But, uh, we'll soon see. We could see this was going to take a while. So we went back to Ida's to wait. Still waiting. So join us next time to see how this all unravels. Do they fix our generator? Maybe. Do we get to borrow one? Maybe. You'll have to tune in to find out. Thanks heaps for watching guys. Remember if you like our video give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Cheers, we'll see you next time. It all comes all thanks to you all. All thanks to y'all. guys my new t-shirt designs are out and they're also in kids sizes now so if you want one just go over to the website and check it out bye